This is going to be a quick video about the App Store um, on the desktop um, in iTunes. As you can see, I have iTunes open already at the iTunes Store. Um, um, you can look by different categories um, music, and then movies. And any, basically anything you buy from the App Store here, you can actually put on your phone too. Um, but let's look at apps specifically. Um, so I'll go to the App Store. Now, um, you have your choice of looking at iPhone or iPad apps. Um, since you have an iPhone, you don't have to worry about the iPad. Um, a lot of apps, they make two versions of it nowadays. Um, one for the iPhone, one, and then an iPad version that fits the iPhone I mean the iPad screen. Um, you can look at you can look at um, look at different categories um, like all categories, medical, lifestyle, games. Um, let's browse the lifestyle, see what it shows. And, um, it's going to have different different sections like what's hot, then all lifestyle apps. And then you can see free apps um, or paid ones. Let's look at some free ones. Mm -hmm. um, so here is some free apps, um, the top free apps in the lifestyle category. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this Living Social, so let's take a look at that one. Now, if there's one you know you already want to download, you can go ahead and click the free button right off the bat, and it will automatically download it. Um, if you don't know if you're going to like it or not, um, you can find one. Ooh, I have I love Starbucks, so I'm gonna can't believe I never downloaded this one before. You can click on the icon, and it shows the information, the description what's new in the new version, um, screenshots of the application, um, and, you know, if you're checking on an app and you're like, you know what, I think I like that, um, you can click on this button right here, free app, and again, it's going to automatically download it. Or you can click this little drop down, and you can add to a wish list, tell a friend, copy link, share on Facebook, or share on Twitter. Um, now, once it's down, while it's downloading, it's going to be in the download section of iTunes. You can see it, it's downloaded, it says it's done, and it will automatically put it in apps. Um, now I, I'm going to have to scroll down to find it because this is showing the iPhone, iPod Touch, and the iPad apps. Um, I want to get down to just the iPhone apps where Starbucks was downloaded to. And it's alphabetical order, so it should be showing up somewhere. It is not. Starbucks, Starbucks, Starbucks. Starbucks. Oh, right here. Uh, my Starbucks. Okay. And then that living social um, should also be around here somewhere too. Um, I'm not seeing that one unless I'm just stupid. Uh, it's it's formatted for both, so I can actually download it to my iPad if I want. Um, and all these apps are going to be in your um, app section. Now, if you start downloading some apps that you think you like, um, or start buying some because you know you just know right off the bat, hey, I'm gonna enjoy that one. Once you get your iPhone and plug it up into your computer, it's gonna show up under devices. And I have a tutorial on how to sync it up already. Um, if not. I'll have to check out that tutorial, make sure it goes in-depth, and if not, then do an in-depth one. But this one, I'm just going to show you how, um, if you start downloading some before you get the phone, I, when you do 
plug in your phone to your computer, um, highlight you know devices, and then go to the apps um, section right here. And then you can you can check and uncheck the ones you want to install in that. All the ones that are checked are actually installed on my phone at the moment. All the ones that are not checked, of course, is not. Um, in theory, the the golf. Logic's one should already um, be checked because I downloaded it to the phone earlier. Um, let's just double check. Um, yeah, see, it's already checked because I already downloaded it to the phone. But my Starbucks, I did not um, download to the phone, so I'd have to go down here and check it to install it on the phone. Then once you have you know what you want checked and what you don't want checked, you can go ahead and hit apply. Ciao. Then it's gonna. It found um, an app or two that I bought on the phone or downloaded on the phone. So you want to hit transfer, and it will put it in the app section here in iTunes. And it's gonna go through here and back up. And um, once it gets done syncing, um, then you can unplug it, and you're good to go. Um, I'm not gonna walk. I'm not gonna let it go through the whole syncing process because there's no need to now. So, hope this video helps you.